This remote-controlled robot can dive to where humans cannot go to locate and remove radioactive materials. Called a VEXIS, for Aqua Vehicle Explorer for in-situ sensing, the robot was co-developed by the University of Manchester and Lancaster University in Britain. It has already proven its value at Sellafield, the site of Britain's worst nuclear accident in 1957. Lowered into the contaminated silo, it clearly showed the waste and corroded pipes and the radioactive water. At around $13,000, Avexis is much cheaper than other robotic systems. What we're trying to develop are small, low-cost and disposable um, mobile robotic systems that can be used in hazardous environments. Uh, this vehicle here is a Vexis, and it's been designed to characterise and explore nuclear storage facilities or nuclear disaster areas. So the two areas that we're primarily focused on are the Legacy Ponds at the Sellafield site in the UK and the Fukushima uh, site in Japan. In July, the operator of Japan's wrecked Fukushima nuclear plant released video footage showing lava-like lumps that suggests there may be nuclear fuel inside one of the reactors damaged in the 2011 disaster. Avexis has an HD camera for visual inspection to pinpoint the fuel's location, but developers are adding more tools specifically to sample the environment. This version, which is being developed uh, for monitoring or characterizing Fukushima, it will have a, a gamma radiation sensor and a neutron detector so that we can detect the types of radiation that are down there. We're also going to be mounting um, an acoustic sonar underneath the bottom of it so that we can map the areas, the floor areas, to find out where objects of interest are. Avexis is undergoing additional tests ahead of its eventual deployment into Fukushima's damaged nuclear core. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.